So far, we've been discussing what worked examples are, when they're effective, when they're not so effective, why they're effective, and you've studied some examples of worked examples. Um, now we want to start talking about how to work with your subject matter experts to create worked examples. And before we ask the experts, Guy Wallace and Dick Clark, I want to just share my personal story uh, around how I used worked examples in the organizations that I work for. In my experience, worked examples really help to shift the focus to performance, outputs, and also to the users. What did we actually need? And in my experience, often when we start a project, things are a bit ambiguous and vague. Uh, well, people need to get better at X. And so work examples then help to really make the abstract more concrete. So I try to focus my stakeholders on the outputs. What do people actually need to create or do? Or at least I, I try to focus on tasks. And I listen very carefully for what I call stakeholder whisperers. So those people who really seem to get it and are interested in the approach. Then I use them to either be my subject matter experts. I mean, they must be a master performer, right? They must be doing the job. Otherwise they won't be able to create a worked example very well. Or, you know, they can help me find somebody who can help me do it. And then I ask them to create version one. Usually we collaborate a bit first and then I send them off and say, okay, now you complete it. And they, they focus on the steps. First this, then that, then that. And usually when they come back, it's too high level. So I have to sit down with them and, and prompt them and ask questions like, how do you get, how do you, how did you get from here to here? And, and then the next level is why did you, uh, why do you do uh, what you do? Initially, I get a lot of pushback because they still say it, it, this takes way too much time. But then when they get started on it, especially the subject matter experts themselves, they get really passionate because first of all, they start to see how useful this is for somebody else who needs to learn this. And it's almost a learning experience for the subject matter experts themselves to really think about and reflect on like, how do I actually do what I do? So in my experience, they, they really enjoy um, the process. So now after a couple of rounds, we have a worked example. And with this, I have accomplished two things. One, I've been able to do a fairly detailed needs analysis because both as me and myself start to see um, where the critical points are in the process and what people actually need to learn and also what the right type of solutions are, right? For example, oh, here we need to create a template for people or here they need a checklist or here we really need to explain this concept. So it really provides a lot of clarity. And also I have a learning asset, right? I have the worked example itself and we can present this to the learner like we can chunk it and reshape it and we can do all kinds of things with it. Um, I have a great example of what good looks like. And of course, I also have a learning asset, right? Namely the worked example itself. And we can present this worked example to the learner, right? Um, so that they have a step-by-step -step demonstration uh, of what they need to do. And they have like an example of what good looks like. So it's catching two birds with one stone um, with the added value that uh, you are able to work performance focused and user focused as well. So it's a win-win. Now let's go ask uh, Guy and Dick how they go about it.